when I was a kid, when I was 12 years old, me and my dad were out hunting and I saw a bone in the water. We dug and dug and dug and pulled it out yeah. and there is a, a buffalo skull. Oh, I cool. pulled out a buffalo skull out of the lake. Neat. And this is in Saskatchewan yeah. and the last time there was wild buffalo was like late 1800s. So yes. it had been there for a long time. So were there buffalo this far north as well? Yes, uh, actually the Yukon is one of the most important places in North America for understanding the history of, of bison or buffalo. That's Here we cool. go. Holy smokes. So oh this is a fossil skull of an Ice Age bison. So the one thing that really distinguishes that skull probably from the ones you it's found the, in Saskatchewan. They're huge for one, <laughs> but they're, they're horns they wrap around. They are. That's enormous. Yeah, they, and this is probably about 25,000 years old or so. It seems like their eyes stick probably. out a little more than like the more modern buffalo. That's actually a really good observation. When you look at the skull and the eye orbits here, they do stick out quite a bit further. Mm -hmm. And that's because their faces were very hairy. And <laughs> there was an evolutionary change in their skulls during the ice age. Yeah. The orbits protruded further out because, oh, cool. yeah, just so their eyes weren't covered by hair all the time. Okay. And then as, uh, as climates changed at the end of the ice and age. They kind of went back in. They went back in. And of course, once people uh, arrive in North America, bison were important to them because yeah. they were they were found in big herds. They were relatively easy to hunt. You know, if I had to go up against an animal with a spear and I had to choose between a bison and, and a, a giant mammoth. holy mammoth, <laughs> I, I might pick. I think I'd go yeah. for the bison. I don't know, but <laughs> they'd probably he could do it. step on you a lot easier. <laughs> they'd both be risky yeah. adventures.